Hello guys and gals, this is Mickey Way, and today I'm going to show you JL's inner pearl elevator design which we are using on the Zipcrowd server a lot, so in the storage room area in the perimeter at the gold farm and as well as in the Enderman farm where the first one was standing. And yeah, uh, as I said, it's JL's design but he doesn't have uh, time to make a video and as some viewer asked me how to uh, build these and I asked JL uh, whether he was going to make a tutorial about it. He said he didn't have any time. So uh, I will be the one showing you how to build this. And yeah, to demonstrate it, yeah, down here we have an ender pearl chest. So in case you don't have any ender pearls on you, just grab some of those. And yeah, here we have uh, just vines. So in case you have a fail in, at the ender pearl elevator, like this, interesting. I think uh, I might have uh, spaced this out uh, a bit too far. As you can see, there's a maximum, so if you space this out too far, you will maybe not make it every time. So, yeah, just a fair warning here. Anyway, uh, here in the middle, we have some kind of station where you can go to the side and drop back down in case you have run out of ender pearls and don't want to grieve out of here. So, in, just in case, uh, so you can just drop down. And yeah, here at the top, uh, this is a different setup where you can walk out to the side, which is nice, flush with the floor. You can actually just uh, walk over it, so it's no problem at all. And yeah, there's two different setups, which I'm going to show you how to build these. And yeah, as you just saw already in the first part, uh, the spacing here is a bit uh, tricky, so you can't go too far up. Anyway, also, uh, the note that this uh, design is pretty expensive. Uh, all the resources we need for this are over here, pretty much. Yeah, not exactly all the resources, but yeah, this is for the bottom part. So what you can see here at the bottom, you need some blocks, uh, some stone slabs, uh, some vines. Yeah, only six vines would also do, since you can let them grow down. Yeah, a chest if you want some ender pearl storage, and some signs to hold, uh, stop the vines from growing to the bottom. Then 14 iron bars per level that you go up here. That is, yeah, first 14 iron bars. You got like five on this side, five on this side plus two on the other side. So that makes it 14 per level. I would suggest not going higher than, let's say, yeah, probably 20 is uh, the highest you should go until you uh, make the next level. But you can play around a bit with that. I mean, you might have different uh, height stations where you want to be able to get out and you can just space them uh, space them out nicely so uh, they are all roughly the same distance. Yeah, then uh, for the ones in between, you again need some blocks. Uh, and this is actually the redstone for the minimal setup that you need to, uh, for this to work. Uh, the way I build it over here uh, requires a bit more, but yeah, we come to that in a in a minute when we build it up. Yeah, then you will need 14 sticky pistons, uh, 6 uh, pistons, yeah, 8 uh, redstone blocks, 6 torches, some redstone, again some vines, and yeah, tripwire hook, uh, yeah, 4 of these, uh, 6 string, 6 signs and 6 trapdoors, and then yeah, again some iron bars for the middle levels, and yeah, if you want uh, to build something like that up there uh, to get out, you will just uh, need pretty much the same resources, but you use furnaces or another uh, item with an inventory as droppers, for instance. But yeah, furnaces are a cheap way to go. Obsidian, of course, also works. Just something that cannot be pushed by a piston, basically. And yeah, uh, what else? Yeah, the vines here are also optional if this uh, for the well, for the top level, you don't need any vines, but you can also just have one of these here uh, somewhere in the middle and then go further up uh, over that. So yeah, just put the vine. I just put the vines in there to show you uh, that you can do that. Anyway, let's start to build this up. And yeah, okay. To start this off, we start with a 4x5 footprint and you can take out the middle blocks and place a chest in there for the ender pearls if you desire to. And then on the corners we come up three blocks on each side. Uh, this is optional, you do not actually need to have some kind of station like this, but I think it looks a bit nicer. 
and yeah, uh, then over here we place two additional blocks, uh, two additional row of blocks, and put vines on all of these. Uh, if you are short on vines, you can just place some on the top part, and they will eventually grow down. And to avoid that they grow down completely, we just put some slabs down here, and yeah, to uh, put some signs on there to stop the vines from growing. And yeah, then you can or cannot, uh, however you like, uh, encase this whole thing over there we did it with iron bars, but for this tutorial I'll just use iron blocks, since iron bars are somewhat yeah, it's annoying to craft, and yeah, this this one was a bit uh, tight. Well, when it, uh, from the placing, it's almost the highest you can go. So I go a bit lower over here, and then we are going to make a, a ring over here. Yeah, you can al of course also remove this in case you do not want any kind of tower around this. But yeah, this is the way we build them for the most part, so if you like that style, you might go with this. Uh, if you don't have an iron farm, you probably won't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, most people have iron farms nowadays, so I think this would this is a great look. And yeah, then when you have uh, your ring up here, that which could also be iron bars, uh, we add three blocks to the side. Again, uh, yeah, you should go up uh, something between s yeah, 15 and 20 blocks probably. And then on these blocks on the side, we add some sticky pistons. And then uh, we can go up here. We will build one of these middle stations here first. And for that, we have two additional rows of blocks up here. Uh, place upward facing normal pistons over here. This will be the ones that catch you. And to avoid that these uh, directly extend when we place the redstone blocks and to stop them from extending in general, we put trapdoors here in, on which you can stand when this ex is extended. And so uh, to avoid that these get pushed, we put some signs on top, like so. And uh, now we can go and put in our redstone blocks. And for the minimal setup to make this work, uh, you can just make a ring, one block of distance here, everywhere. Then some temporary blocks over here to go to the other side. Something like this. And then I would suggest you get yourself some torches already. That's some torches that is. And put them over here already. I will quickly uh, remove these again to show you why you, we do this in this order. Uh, we won't these, uh, need these anymore. And yeah, over here we now place our redstone block. This is the way it works this way around. But if we for some reason went and that the other way around had our redstone block over here and then placed our torches, we would get quite some one tick pulses and this would be extended. Yeah. So just make sure that you do it in the correct order. But yeah, as you can see, that it's not that hard to fix. Then uh, two blocks above these redstone blocks, we get ourselves some downward facing sticky pistons. Whoops. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six on the other side. You can, if you want, for symmetry reasons, just do the, the same thing here. Whoops. Okay, like like so. And then just pull the redstone line, have also sticky pistons and redstone blocks over here. This is just if you want it. This, uh, for symmetry, if, uh, it's not important for it to work. So I will leave it out in this part so you can have uh, both the ways that it's done in the word download. And yeah, then we put some tripwire hooks on, on these blocks. And yeah, what happens uh, when I uh, trigger this tripwire is that uh, yeah, these 
pistons extend and this instantly removes power here. And then, yeah, the torches uh, get powered and, uh, yeah, ex this extends and due to the, uh, this, this whole uh, setup down here works due to the uh, update order of the pistons, uh, which was introduced in 1.5, I believe, or 1.5.1, 1, so something like that. Yeah, so that that is our middle station, and then, uh, yeah, I will also show you how to build one of these, these top stations, and, yeah, and again, uh, the reason here for this to work is that you can just walk to the sides, and then you are under the tripwire and can actually jump down here catch the vines. And yeah, uh, let's not get over eager here. Before we completely leave this area, we will need some more blocks over here. And these are to put some vines on them. These won't grow down uh, because there is the tripwire right, right below it. And yeah, that's just to catch you in case it ever fails. And okay. when you come further up here, let's just do it over here. It doesn't really matter how far this is spaced out now for the tutorial. And yeah, you build your second ring. Align that properly with the the one below. And for the, uh, for these stations where you want to be able to actually get out, you go and yeah, I'm sorry, that's my my mouse. I really need a new one, but the, the cable is pretty much broken. So right now, anyway, you go and place again your sticky pistons and the normal pistons. But instead of the, tri uh, the trapdoor sign combination, you just uh, put some blocks on top that cannot be pushed. That can be obsidian, that can be uh, furnaces. I think I mentioned that before. Then you can go and place your redstone blocks below. Come over here and build your ring around this. Oops. And Again, my mouse. Okay. Then put on our redstone dust. Get the torches. On the one side, on the other side. Have our redstone blocks. Go up. Place our yeah, this is probably also the best position if you do this in survival to place the sticky pistons yeah, and then on the other side same th uh, thing again. Just have two blocks here for the tripwire hooks and put your string in between them. Okay, so. You cannot actually go uh, straight from here because uh, yeah, this this redstone will pre pretty much stop you from doing that. But yeah, you might be able to go out this this way if you really don't want to go up. But yeah, you can just go and have half slabs that actually works pretty pretty well. So this way, all the redstone is covered. And yeah, as you can see over here this would be a way to make it spawn proof uh, yeah but of course also need some slabs on on these ledges and yeah if you are also in a slime chunk and below y39 uh, this will actually not spawn uh, stop the small slimes from spawning and then you will have to do something like this and then put the slabs on top of that so you have redstone solid block this sp uh, solid block above that block uh, st uh, stops the uh, mobs from spawning here, and then steps on the on top again to make the r these blocks spawn proof again. Yeah, just a, a solid block here. Yeah. Anyway, I think that concludes the tutorial. You know, 
know how to build these and hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.